flew from our home in Atlanta to Cancun on our way to vacation in the Mexican Caribbean beach town of Playa del Carmen. Come with us as we explore the town, visiting beach clubs in the day and at night. Check out some great restaurants and see the sights and sounds of Playa del Carmen. We visit Tulum as well. I think you're gonna like it here. We stayed in Airbnb, a studio on the north side of town in Baje Condos with beautiful views from the rooftop. A short walk from the beach and Fifth Avenue. We visit our son who is living in Playa, doing cave diving in the cenotes. The beaches have blue water and white sand and plenty of beach clubs to grab some shade and refreshments. The beaches are public in Mexico, so you can take a cooler and a towel if you don't want to use a beach club. Let's head from the beach back towards our condo. There are new condos popping up everywhere, many with rooftop pools with ocean views. You can book one on Airbnb. Let's take you down the famous Fifth Avenue, or La Quinta, a pedestrian-only street, the heartbeat of Playa del Carmen. The south end is more crowded and touristy, while the north end with the higher street numbers is a little bit more mellow. There's all sorts of shopping along Fifth, but it can be a little expensive. If you want to shop on Fifth, local art is one of the good options to buy. Get a picture with Frida. Or a giant sugar skull. There's a heavy police presence to make you feel safe. This palm tree grows right through the store. Some public art with a cool Mayan statue. Side street shopping with local vendors. You can even pet a tiger if you're into that. I love how you can see the beach on some parts of Fed. There are all sorts of performances, both in the restaurants and on the streets, with some really talented performers. The performers work on tips, so give them some pesos if you feel like you're entertained. Dancers performing a traditional Mexican dance. There are a few shopping malls along Fifth Avenue, but the local shops are the best. And it's a good spot for people watching, including this guy casually holding a python. There are all sorts of bars and restaurants along Fifth, as well as new attractions like the Tussauds Wax Museum. Live music all over Playa del Carmen, much of it right on fifth. We'll give you a list of more places coming up. Unfortunately, Baton Rouge Grill just recently closed. Look for Who's Playing in Playa on Facebook if you want a rundown of your days and times of live music by venue. Along the beach on the south end of town are a bunch of beach clubs that turn into bars at night. Most to have live music and some have DJs depending on the night. We stopped off at Zenzi and then caught the fire show at Inti Beach. It was recently redone and is a more high-end option. Let's take you for a tour of the beach and beach club, starting at the south end of the town, starting into Inti Beach off 4th Street. Next is Fusion off 6th Street, which was recently reopened and is a great spot to hang out. We'll visit in a bit. Next is Zenzi on 10th Street, a longtime favorite. Then Lido Beach, a cool spot to chill for the day. A pier marks the start of the north end of town, where there's a cluster of large all-inclusives, including the Hilton and the Wyndham, as well as the Grand Hyatt, a newer and highly regarded property. With its beach club, Coralina, which seems a bit overhyped. Mamita's Beach Club, a longtime stalwart, on one of the best beaches in town. There's a series of beach clubs on the north end of town along Coco Beach, starting with Encanto Beach, a reasonably priced favorite. Martina is another high-end spot if you're looking for a party atmosphere. Next is Mandarino. Despite its beauty, the service is lacking. That's the Reef Coco Beach on the north end of town, another big all-inclusive. They offer a day pass if you're interested, right next to a large undeveloped area. Let's take a quick look at the Baje Condos and its awesome rooftop pool. There are a ton of Airbnbs of all shapes and sizes all across town, which I highly recommend if you want to go beyond the all-inclusives. 
and really experience all that Playa has to offer. The rooftop has a gym and a bathroom, as well as a shower, which is pretty typical. Let's enjoy a sunset trip along the beach. That large area of trees is the Mahikal Beach Resort, whose individual bungalows and plethora of palm trees give a unique tropical feeling to this all-inclusive. There's Mumitas, the king of the beach clubs. The sunsets were fire, and we enjoyed the rooftop to grab a cocktail, relax, and enjoy the setting sun. We headed to the recently reopened Fusion along the beach, just above 6th Street, in a great place with live music and good food right along the water. A great vibe with your toes in the sand. What could be better? Don't forget the beach clubs along the strip is a nighttime alternative to Fifth Avenue. Add in a fire show and it was poppin'. Combination of a fire show and live music right on the beach with your toes in the sand. They fuse in an awesome spot. We kept finding our way back. We spent a number of days hanging out at the beach with its white sands and blue waters. I was like a little kid again, playing in the sand. The National Guard and the police were ever present. A relaxing way to spend the day. We ate at a bunch of different restaurants, but one of our favorite was Silieto Lindo on the north end of town. Fantastic carnitas at a great price. Mui salsa was also a good taco option right on 5th. Enjoy your beer chalada style. Your steak and chorizo taco was awesome. Our go-to coffee place was A Cacao with multiple locations all across town. My favorite was the iced chocolate latte. 38th Street is a tree-covered street known as the prettiest street in Playa del Carmen with numerous excellent restaurant options, including Sanchez, a taco spot where we got some cocktails. Mate 38, a great spot for high-end local food. La Perla Pixan for high-end Mexican. And Piola for good Italian food. Mae Tai is a good option for Thai. And don't miss Rocca's Jamaican, a new addition. Let's head back to the beautiful beaches. It's much less crowded on the weekdays as there's less locals out. We really enjoyed ourselves. And there was no seaweed, which can be a problem in the summer. Enjoying time at the beach is one of the reasons you go to Playa. We went for Cuban food at La Badiquita del Medio. Worth a visit for the atmosphere. It's a fun spot with live Cuban music. You gotta love those horns. It's on Fifth Avenue near 34th Street. Clandestino is a recommended dance club along Fifth Avenue. The police have drug dogs, so be a little careful what you carry around. 12th Street is where many of the nightclubs are, including Coco Bongo. Some of the clubs have dancers out front to catch your attention. We didn't visit these clubs, but a late night walk down 12th Street makes for some interest. There are a bunch of spots from live music, many of them right along 5th, including Fa near 10th Street, Bloody Mary near 20th, and Cayman de Gurio near 24th. La Vagabunda has two locations as well. We rented a car from Easy Way Rent a Car for a day trip to Tulum, about 45 minutes south of Playa. A beautiful and trendy spot with a unique vibe. Independence Day decorations were going up, which is in mid-September. The city of Tulum and the beach are somewhat separated, requiring some sort of transportation. There are tons of new condos going up in the area. We arrived at Ziggy's Beach Club, which had a great reputation. With the beach club, multiple restaurants and shopping, a picturesque location with full service day beds under the palms. With a chill vibe, $30 minimum spend per person, which is easy to get to. We went for a walk and checked out the beach, which was incredibly beautiful. The water was clear enough to be able to spot these stingrays. Let's 
check out Ziggy's property, which has all the vibes you'd expect in Tulum, with a beautiful view and a bohemian chic vibe with all sorts of art and some influencers to boot. This famous wooden statue is just down the road. I took my drone for a spin. Caught this guy on the skimboard. Tulum's beaches are world class. Let's check out Taboo, one of the other nearby beach clubs. We'll see it from the air. Tulum is much less developed near the beach compared to Playa. Looking up the coast to the Tulum Hotel Zone. The ruins are even farther north. You can see all the condos popping up between the beach and the town. Heading out of town, we pass Potheads, a cleverly named coffee shop. We had dinner at Casa Sofia Tulum. A nice spot for Italian with the Tulum vibe. We ended the night back in Playa and hung out at the rooftop pool with a view of Cozumel. Let's spend some time on the south end of Fit, near the pier and the ferry to Cozumel. The Playa sign is right there. The Puerto Maya statue is a new symbol of Playa del Carmen. It's definitely worth a visit. We stopped by the Freedom Museum. As you might expect, there's some cool art. And I don't give a dick. A uniquely named ice cream shop with some interesting merchandise. The playa is filled with lots of unique art. In the shops, in the restaurants, on the people, and in the streets. Our fifth floor studio Airbnb was $500 for nine nights. There's many condos available and a lot of competition. So your bang for buck can be really excellent. A place that a decent view and plenty of space. By now you already know, oh, we love the rooftop. We travel in the off season, so prices can be higher. Fa is one of the best rock clubs in town and a perennial favorite, where we always return. Stop by during the day for beers at 25 pesos. And there's two shows every night. Showing their commitment to rock with Jimmy in the bathroom. They'll have some fun if you got something to celebrate. Let's hear a couple of local bands do the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Back to Fusion for some more live music and more Red Hot Chili Peppers. morning, we headed to La Brioche, a French bakery on 38th Street. A favorite of ours, as well as our son, before we headed to the airport. Another great stay in Playa del Carmen, one of our favorite spots. We will return. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments. Click that Bob Shot button on the left and join us for more of our travels around the world. Thanks for subscribing.